Guys, how are you today? Uh, today I'll be uh, trying to, to to respond to a couple of questions, three important questions that people, you know, you know that people sent me uh, by emails, right? Okay, try to respond in, you know, as much as I can, you know, with the best of my ability, you know, about, it's always about my own experiences, you know, and the things I have learned, you know, uh, about training, about training. Yeah, I find it very interesting and the people, you know, they, uh, they talk about my videos and they want to know uh, what I think about the different things, different questions, you know, and I'm responding it, you know, with the best of thing, you know, no bullshit, no bullshit, any, any you know, uh, I'll say that, you know, any, uh, is, there's no, you know, one truth, you know, about training, you know, generally speaking, you know, basically I should say, okay, but about what I think, you know, and I think what is good for people and what's good for an athlete when you're training, right, okay, from my experiences, you know, and the very first question, you know, uh, the people, you know, the, the, the question I've got, you know, okay, and I wrote it right here, I wrote it down here on a piece of paper, right, and three, okay, and the first one is how long training, how long a training, sh a training session, you know, should last, should last, okay. And it's very interesting to say that, you know, because I, I, I'm seeing people spending too much time in the gym, too much time, you know, uh, they're in the gym training too often, right? Okay. And what I mean by training, you know, here we talk about, you know, the cardio combined, right? With weightlifting, with weightlifting, okay? Or just sacred training and everything. But this is my next question right here, okay? Right. And uh, they're spending too much time in the gym, you know, and it, it, it doesn't pay off. It doesn't pay off. I mean, so they don't get the result they need. They should have and they don't get you know the right result and you know the it's like just like the job is is it's not done okay the job is not done at the end of the training you know okay if they have spent too much time in the gym right okay for me you know a good training you know if i i, I take you know uh, my, the warm-up right the stretching right okay the cardio part you know and the weightlifting part you know should remain you know you know maximum maximum time one hour Sometimes what I do, you know, when I want to, to, to burn extra calories, you know, okay, one extra calories, you know, in my training session, I'm, I, I will go to 100, uh, pardon me, you know, one hour, 10 to one hour, 15 minutes, you know, but I don't, I don't do it, you know, often, seldom I'm going to, I'm going to do it, you know, the best training session. Best training session you know, for an athlete, you know, for an advanced athlete, you know, when you have experiences and your body is, is, is used to train, right, okay, is, you have the experience to train, is one hour, 50 minutes to one hour, you know, which is including, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat again, right, it's okay, just make sure that you understand, you know, my point of view, you know, you do your cardio, right, which is, you shouldn't go over 30 minutes of cardio, you know, with high intensity cardio, you know, or interval cardio, right, 30 minutes, and the other part, you know, if, for example, I'm training a muscle, right, it's about 10, you know, to 12 minutes per, 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 uh, per muscle group, right, per muscle group, and sometimes I go, you know, under that, under that, what I do, you know, uh, sometimes, sometimes, when I want to burn, you know, uh, but I want to burn, I want to burn fat, right, okay, I'm gonna just want to, I'm gonna add, you know, volume in my training, volume, you know, you know, more reps, you know, not necessarily more, more sets, but more reps, you know, in the same, in the same time, in the same time, in the one hour or the 15 minutes, you know, for example, okay, I just increasing, you know, my intensity, and if I do increase my intensity, of course, you know, I'll be I will be decreasing my weight, I'll be decreasing my weight by increasing my reps, okay, that's, that's what I, you know, I, I suggest you, right, which I found me, was really the best, you know, and it, it, it does help me to achieve the best result that I can do, you know, humanly speaking, the natural, with the natural, which is very important, very important, you know, if you compare with sometimes, you know, you see the training program from the guys, you know, in the, in the magazine, right, okay, they go over, you know, 20 reps, 20 sets, you know, uh, you know, but per, uh, per muscle group, you know, but the, you know, but these guys are not natural, or not natural, you know, you're using a lot of shits and drugs and everything, you know, for a natural athlete, you know, if you want to have time to really, enough time to recover, if you want to have to get the maximum result that you're going to have, humanly speaking, you know, 50 to one hour, you know, it's the best, you know, training session is the best that you can do, it's the best that you can do. Another question, you know, very interesting question, people, you know, the subscribers and the people, not only the subscribers, they send me, you know, and they want to know, is the second question here, okay, is about the circuit training, circuit training. 
what I think about it. Surf drink is very good, you know, especially when you want to work, you know, in hand hands, your hand hands, you know, your cardiovascular. It's surf training. It's really good. It's really good. Another big fan, you know, of doing the you know, circuit training, you know, because I'm doing mostly like you know like a bodybuilder, you know, by isolation, you know, uh, uh, exercise, right? Okay. But circuit training, you know, overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and I do recommend it. You know, if you want to be, you know, in shape, generally speaking, you know, you hover hold, you know, you have you know good uh, physical conditioning, circuit training, it's it's excellent, you know, excellent, you know. All training is are very excellent, excellent. But here we talk about circuit training was the second question I'm, res I'm, I'm responding to you you know it's pretty good very popular it's pretty, it's pretty good you know you do you know the, the circuit you know two or three times three times you know four times you know as you want you know as you know it's it's pretty good it's pretty good it's short you know it's it, it's uh it doesn't last long you know in training session you know and it, it's pretty good it's pretty good Another very interesting question, you know, it's, you know, it's uh, the third one here. It's my last one. I'll be responding tonight here, right? Okay, is how many sets should be done? How many sh how many sets should be done? You know, per muscle group, for example, the shoulder, the chest, the legs, and everything. Calf, right? Okay, should be done. I did experience something, and you know, interesting a couple of years ago, and I kept the same thing, same philosophy about it, you know, which. Uh, I'm not gonna name the, 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 the guy, you know, uh, the bodybuilder or the coaches, you know, I started, you know, that uh, that philosophy of, tra of training, you know, because I don't wanna name anybody here, you know. But I reduce, you know, I reduce my sets, right? Okay, my sets. I increase, I did increase, and I'm still increasing on you know, the intensity, it depends about what I want to do, right? Okay, okay. And uh, Instead of going, you know, with you know, uh, with mega sets, for example, fifteen sets, twelve sets, and everything, you know, for, for for the legs, for example, or for the chest, or for the back, you know, I don't go over, you know, I don't exceed over ten sets, okay, ten sets. And when I say when I when I'm, I'm telling you ten sets, it's for a large group of muscle, for example, my legs and my back, or even the chest, you know, before, you know. You know, under 10 sets, about 10 sets, you know, uh, of, you know, uh, um, of exercises, you know, per, 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 uh, per muscle group, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's good, you know, because it gives, it, it gives you the time, you know, to, to, to recover, to, to the, the good time, you know, for recuperation, to recover, right, okay, and you have energy. And it's been showing, it's been shown, you know, okay? You got studies about it, you know, what is very good, what is faith based for, it's really, it's really important, you know, is, is your second and third sets that you're gonna do there, you know? First one, is first sets that you take it as a warm up, right, okay? To warm up your muscle, right, okay? And the second sets and the third sets, you know, always the best, and it pays more, it pays more, and then you give you one other person, you know? I don't go over, you know, 10 sets for my legs now, right, okay? Okay, which I spit my, uh, you know, sometimes I'm on three different exercises, isolation exercises, you know. Okay, sometimes I go with, you know, compound movement too, right, for, for the legs, okay. But I don't go over there, you know, over, you know, not exceed, you know, 10 sets for the legs, 10 sets for the back, you know. I'm gonna stick, you know, with eight, eight sets for my my chest, you know, six or seven sets for my shoulders, and you know, you know, with my traps all together, and it pays more, you know. And when you're training naturally, right? Okay, it's it's more true, I guess. It's more true, you know. I did experience, you know, that type of training for me, right? Okay, when I'm just giving, you know, my like one hundred ten person, you know, for on each, right, on each set, right? Okay. And uh, each set, okay, and doesn't really matter about the rep, the reps, the reps gonna is gonna really, really matter about you know how many reps you want to do. If you go up for for example for 50, 15 reps, okay, you're not gonna take the same you know the same weight than if you're training you know for going for enforced reps you know for you know for five five reps or eight reps, okay. Of course, you know the weight's gonna vary, you got a big variation about the you know the the weight you're gonna use, you know. You're gonna gonna use, you know, with you know, for example, for I don't know, if I'm pressing my chest, you know, I, which I can't do anymore, you know, because of my shoulder here, okay. Okay, bursitis, I got still painful sometimes, you know. But for example, I'll give you the, the try to make sure that you understand chest press, okay, chest press, okay with dumbbell 
I used to 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 press 130 pounds or 120 pounds, you know, for eight, you know, to ten sets, right? Okay. If I want to go, if I want to work, you know, with higher uh, higher reps, okay, 15, for example, I might decrease to in you know, 80 to 85, you know, a weight so for each number, right? Okay. You see, you see, you know what what I'm talking about here. You know what I mean? Okay, that's what I, the perfect example of what I want I want to try to 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 give you here. Okay. It doesn't pay more, you know, if you're increasing, you know, your sets, okay? It doesn't even pay more, you know. And for when I want, for example, you know, I want to be, you know, shred, I want to, I wasn't cutting cycle, right? Okay? I was just increasing, you know, just not the, the, the set, but the reps, the reps. I'm going to name it. Sergio Oliva used to do that, you know, the myth, you know, many, many years ago, okay? And I told myself, if it's good for him, you know, it's the guy, he, he wasn't, you know, on, on, on shit, for example. If, even if I do 